Uh, All right, we're in. Uh, Do not be an idiot. Sunday, November 6th at New York Comedy Club, the Rad Dude Cast Live. First ever live recording of the Rad Dude Cast. That's Sunday, yep. November 6th at, at 7 six. p.m. at the New York Comedy Club. This is what you need to do. Not a New York Comedy Club. No, the. it's called New York Comedy Club. You need to go on the <laughs> website. <coughs> I'm telling you, I got this cough. I got it too. I'm sick It's too. not going away. Let me tell you something. I did a promo last week when you weren't here. Yeah. Clean through. Clean through. <laughs> Clean through. Now I got to start over because this is important. We got to get people out. Sunday. Oh, my Sunday. cough is it? <sighs> November 6th, 7 p.m. at New York Comedy Club, the Rad Dude Cast Live. It's going to be me, Anthony DeVito, Greg Stone. I'm Brendan Air, by the way, and mm. a special guest. Oh, we're okay? going to tell them? We're going to be doing No, we're not going to tell them. Well, they'll f- find out soon enough. Them. They'll find yeah. out soon enough. A special guest. Right. This is what you do you go on the website for the New York Comedy uh. Club. Uh-huh. You f- click on the ticket link. You enter the ticket code. Oh, you have to t- enter the Rad Dude code. Yeah, you have to enter the code. then they think that you don't know us. Yeah, so you enter yeah. the code. And not only that, you get $5 tickets. So go oh, click yeah. on the link, and, oh. and and I'll tweet out yeah. the link again today. Do not mock me that I'm su- that I'm sucking my spit. I'll tweet out the link right now. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I didn't it. even pick up on that. I do a lot of things you guys don't know Jesus about. Jesus Christ, you've <laughs> ruined this promo. A promo <laughs> needs to be straight through. We want people to come to this show. Well, they're going to come. Sunday. I was no- just about to reveal the special guest. Yeah, who? Fuck your face. A little woman named Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, It's going to be back in full swing. Welcome at romance. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Ask him. If you see a commercial on television, yes, and midway for what? Midway for, for what am I watching? <laughs> for for palm olive dish soap. For palm olive dish soap. You're in the okay. middle of, of what a, is this commercial about? This is what I'm saying. They're they're trying what to sell am you the I dish watching? soap, and some nincompoop just interrupts singing. You're gonna forget to buy the dish soap. Now let me get these people to our show. But I'm asking you, what was I watching initially? No, stop it. <laughs> we gotta get we gotta do this. Then it's all a free. Rick, I don't like your friend. Jared is texting me. What's he saying? He wants to know some questions if we want to go do his podcast. Now? We're doing ours. Hold on. I tell him i got to text him in a little bit. Let me text him. Text him in a little bit. Text him. You text him, Anthony. You take a nap. Let me (laughs) fucking promo this thing. (laughs) we got to get people out. (laughs) Yeah, we got to get them out. All right. Jeez, oh, They already heard us, though. They didn't hear the fucking most important part. So, Sunday. Sunday. November 6th at the New York Comedy Club at 7 p.m. It's a Rad Duke cast live. Brendan Ayer, Greg Stone, Anthony some other fucker with a very special guest. People uh, are going to sleep through this, Anthony, because you're doing that. Here's he the told me to take a nap following doctor's orders. This you're a real crumb. You know that? You're a real crumb. Look, you upset Brendan. I hope friend. no one I Brendan. hope no one comes. They're going to come. No, I'm not finishing it. I hope no one comes. Please finish it. I won't finish you it. You told me to take a nap. I won't fit. Okay. Okay. Here's what you do. Uh-huh. And and we've said this last week. Anyone who comes from out of town, make this your oh, fall trip. Yeah. Bring some yeah, friends. Make if this. you come from out of town, we already got one guy tweeting us his hotel reservation. I can't believe it. People are coming. That's crazy. We will hang out with you. We're going to have a party yeah, after we're party. We're going to have a that night after party. Yeah, and I'll get that our, planned. Yeah. Uh, so if you're in town, if you tell friends, it's Sunday, November 6th, 7 p.m. at New York Comedy Club. Go on their website for five dollar tickets. You click on the link for the show and you hit Rad Dude. One word, Rad Dude, is the promo code. Yeah, Rad Dude. Rad Sunday, dude. November six, seven p.m. That's all I wanted to get through. That's great. Oh, that's the bad wire. What do you mean? You moved and it went crazy. It didn't go. <laughs> yep, it's going crazy. You can't hear it. Ah, <laughs> uh, get me another wire. What is happening? Oh shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's the box? Where's the box of stuff? <laughs> There's no wires in there, man. Come on! All right, everyone, just be cool and don't... What is happening? There's no wires in here. Are these what? the only wires? There should be one more wire that's like this. So then what do we have to do to fix this? There's nothing. It's okay. It's not doing anything right this moment. But who stole our other wire? That's important. Because uh, also... Mm. Don't, don't look at me! If anyone's wire were, were to be going kooky, I wish it was this guy who interrupts the promos. Because i got to do two more of those. Yeah. yeah. Lots of luck. <laughs> <laughs> but it is going to be fun. No, that was a great promo. I'm going to pause it, I think you Anthony. got through it. Actually, Brendan, you give the promo one more time. Anthony, look on the shelf 
for a wire that looks like this. Okay, but afterwards, then, I'd like to talk about my means of getting there. Okay. Okay, okay great. Great. Okay. Uh, so, again, Sunday, November 6th, New York Comedy Club. It's going to be fantastic. If you come yeah. in from out of town... Uh, let us know. We're going to plan this party. It's going to be an amazing show. There's going to be stand-up. There's going to be some of your favorite right. uh, Rad Dude Cast fellas on the show, some yeah. of our friends of the show. Yeah. Uh, Is Urge coming? I hope Urge comes. Yeah, Urge was in New York a while ago. Um, Nothing. You're just showing me an empty <laughs> box that the wires have never been kept in ever. Thanks for presenting. So you go on New York Comedy Club's website. Uh, I'll tweet that out, and you put promo code Rad Dude. You get five dollar tickets. Tweet at us once you've gotten your tickets, so we have some idea who's coming. Anthony, just Anthony up Greg any sent Anthony to look for wires. Anthony is holding up objects that clearly aren't wires, and asking Greg if it's what he's looking for. Anthony, why don't you come in, and I'll look for it while you. Uh, 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 I think we're all right. It's all right. Regurgitate whatever drivel. You, I'm, I'm real, uh, I'm really uh, coming what? in uh, with a bias against you today. <laughs> yeah, you really are. I want to after sing. your time to shine last week and your s premiere role as you know when I wasn't here. You really. Uh, yeah, but then you you were here one yeah. week before that. Yeah, you had that. I'm the only been. I'm the only person who's been on every episode of Rad Cast. Yeah, that's true. true. I'm true. the only yeah. real member. Now I'm, that means I'm captain now. Well, you're the driving force. Well, and Corsa Rad. Driving Rad. force. Corsa you, Rad. <laughs> how quick you are to You guys get. aren't as rad as me anymore. Yeah. I, you know, I never even looked at myself this whole uh. time as part of the podcast. I've looked at myself as a guest every t episode. <laughs> I really have. Well, you do have the guest mic. Yeah. I have the guest mic. I talk the least. And I, and I get arguably the most fanfare. Like a guest. True. You get the most fans. He does get the most. I get a lot of letters. Deservedly so. I, think so. I get a lot of inmates writing me letters. Oh. I talk to people. I a talk lot to everybody. Of inmates. Uh, I call people. I send them a lot of pictures. Inmates. I send, I send inmates a lot of pictures for them to masturbate Nuders? to in their cell. Of course. Yes. You send nudes to inmates. Yes, nudes. I take some uh, some nudies for them. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's a, see that. Do you think this is a big in prison? This podcast. It would be if they if if it gets in, it'll be it'll spread like AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will. yeah, yeah. I think you're right, man. I think this so. is a good podcast for prison. People, go, I think finally someone with our ideas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone who gets it. Yeah, three people who get it. Yeah, and I think a lot of people who listen to this podcast right now will definitely be in jail. Yes, at some point. Yes. Oh, sure. You yes. know, most certainly. One of our, I mean, you know, man, there are a lot of, you know, who is that son of Sam guy? Sam. No, David Berkowitz. Berkowitz, yeah. Oh. No, I'm thinking of a different guy. No, that's him. Oh, yeah. You're no, that Sam. is the guy. But I'm thinking of a different guy Sam Jr. for reasons of saying whatever I'm going to uh, say next. Are you thinking of uh, Sammy Davis the Jr.? The catcher in the rye guy. The catcher in the rye. Oh, the guy that tried to Holden kill... Holden uh, Caulfield? Well, Holden Caulfield is the guy from the book Catcher in the Rye. Oh, okay. But Great. there is a guy the who guy just had... Who shot John uh, Lennon? Yeah, he's... No, that's different. You're thinking of the guy who shot um, Edgar Allan Poe. The guy with all the the guy with all the copies of Catcher in the Rye. Yeah, that was uh, was he the guy that? That's shot... the guy that shot John Lennon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That I don't know. Like a song. Let's call him. Let's call him. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll give, give him a name. This guy. I didn't forget his name. Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> all right. I'll give him Miguel. Oh, that, right. that Bob Singer. Yeah, Miguel. Miguel. So Miguel shoots, and then he blames it on Miguel. the Catcher in the Rye book. Right. Miguel. I, Miguel. Say it right. Miguel. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right Miguel. There. That's good. That guy. That uh, there will be a lot of people like grand larcenists, arsonists. Yeah. That you know are like, <laughs> that would turn out they had all one thing in common. They were huge fans of the Rat Dude Cats. I think that'll happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mark David Chapman. Is Mark David Chapman. Like, yes, uh, that's a guy. And I also liked that when you were thinking of the you type of what, criminals what, 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 that would what, be. What, what, <laughs> <laughs> when you were thinking of the uh, type of criminals that would be Rad Dude yeah. Cast fans, it was only rhyming crimes. <laughs> we got we got your grand larcenist, <laughs> yeah, your arsonist. Yeah, arsonist. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you Johnny yeah. Carsonist. <laughs> yeah, you Johnny, Johnny Carsonist. Car <laughs> I like to give out secret messages to my conspiracy theory fans out there. I did hear you at one point yeah, while we were yeah. speaking of John Mark David Chapman going, "How can we get podcast about that?" But no, it's backwards talk. Wow. <laughs> I just said the devil is your friend. Befriend him quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Befriend him quickly. I like that puts a time crunch on it. Yeah, you got to get down there. He's hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must befriend the devil. <laughs> oh, means of getting. We should tell people how to get here. Yeah, get on a train. Get on a train. Any train. 
You got planes. <laughs> All trains. It, you All find trains. me one train that doesn't come well, through. Well, a New York City. They circle. Yeah. They all hear the. Well, I just started my airline service. This is. Oh, good. Should be good. <laughs> Anthony's wild flights, <laughs> where the whole plane is wet. A wet plane. It's a wet plane. Ooh, that's so, good. So everything's wet. Why? So, well, to Even the, the electrical <laughs> equipment. Because <laughs> that's a problem. All wet. That's the first. It's all problem. wet. That's the only. That's. Pearson, the... you're gonna pitch. I own the. I I am a. Billionaire, <laughs> yeah, and I'm looking cool. to invest my money into some things. Oh, which billionaire? Can you be a Shark Tank billionaire? Yeah, yeah, but I gotta oh, be my own guy. Be Barb. I can't be Barb. Why not? No, this is, I be careful with I, these wires. I know, but it's I can't work under such a restriction. I know this is a problem. Oh, maybe so this is the not? wire you were looking no, for. No, don't. It's not it. Yeah, maybe. The, do you want me to look for the wire again? We cannot. Okay. We there cannot. We right. will not. We must so not. Like this. You be Barb. No, I'm going to be who I want to be with Shark yeah, Tank. Yeah, it's right, a yeah, different just, Shark that's Tank. Fine. That's this fair. is the that's Hammerhead fair. That's Shark fair. Tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So you be whatever billionaires you want to be, and I'll come to you with my uh, with my airline uh, um, uh, company. Uh, uh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> we're back. Sorry, we have to take a pause. No, that's all right. So, uh, what were we doing? I forget. <laughs> yes, I am a shark. You are going to pitch me. Your wet airline. <laughs> All right. My name is Rocky Dennis. <laughs> okay, cool. Do you All know right. who Rocky Dennis is? From the mask? Yes. <laughs> Wait, it's Rocky Dennis. From the movie uh, with Cher, the guy with the big fucking face. I've never seen I, the mask with Jim Carrey. No, no the, the first original one. mask. I've never seen. Oh, that. you've never seen the, the mask? No. A giant head man. <laughs> no, yeah. I've never heard of well, it. He made a lot of money oh, off God. of the movie with Cher, so he's got a lot of money to invest in airplanes now. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. You never saw that movie, The Original Mask. No. Here oh, is. Anthony, he had a bad face. This is him. Let me see. Oh, my That's God. That's who I am. Oh, I thought that was the Goonies or something. No, played by Eric Stoltz. Yeah, played that, by Eric oh, Stoltz. Oh, I thought that was a real guy. No, shit. My whole life. I thought that was a real guy that you they just, got just from the You just found out about the movie 22 seconds ago. Yeah, but no, I've seen that picture before. There are yeah. real guys like that. No, yeah. I know. That's. I thought it was a real guy, and I thought it was... Uh, they got a fuck-up face. Yeah, I, I thought it was some movie. I knew a guy like that. Did you? In real life. Really? He was a nice guy. Yeah, of course he was yeah, nice. That. Was he mean? You were going to say it on a podcast? <laughs> what? No, he was great. <laughs> he was great? Well, what if he wasn't? <laughs> I'd say it. You would? Yeah, man. Brad like that's not one to pull punches. No, I'm not one to pull punches. That guy, dwarf, that dwarf that beat up Mr. Braddock in seventh grade, the rudest guy I've ever met. Hell yeah? Yeah, he beat the <laughs> shit out of him. I never told you about how the dwarf beat up a teacher? Tell us now. Probably, but that's fun. Tell us again. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Well, I've been trying to write right a now. joke about it for nine yeah. years. but That's a tough sell. It's a tough sell yeah, because yeah, yeah. the actual event is better than any joke yeah, could ever course. be. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, this math teacher told a dwarf to stop talking. The dwarf jumped on his back and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> How does that not I kill? Mean, it's killing right it's now. The funniest image I think I've ever had. It's in my the head. best thing I've ever yeah. seen. And the, what happened to him? And this is the thing: people talk about dwarf strength, and everyone's like, "No, that might not be true." Yeah. It's yeah. true. Yeah. This guy yeah, beat yeah. the shit out of a teacher on his back, holding his head with one arm and just punching his head with the other arm. See, that's that shit that bothers me, right? Yeah. yeah. Because sometimes these super liberal feminists will be like, <laughs> "Women." <laughs> need to be protected because we're weaker and you need to watch out for us. I'm like, well, if a dwarf is beating up a principal, a woman could beat up a man. <laughs> he just got done talking about dwarf strength, though. Yeah, they got dwarf strength. And now strength. that's a real women thing. Women got women's strength. It's not that much. It's, oh, boy, you're going to get some heat for that comment. No, it's a lot. Yeah. Man, I worked at a nurse. These nurses used to take down these meth heads. I remember that when I used to work there. Yeah. Because I was scared of them. Yeah. That's the thing is fear is a big factor in strength. I don't want yeah. to hurt anybody. If you're a woman and you're ready to go to the edge, that's what people don't talk about. Willingness to go to the edge. Right. That's what you must have. That's why I, so when I retired from competitive soccer, I, I after college, sometimes I would play co-ed soccer. Friends would just invite me to play yeah. in a co-ed league. Yeah. yeah. But once. I think I know how this ends. My, yeah, my. Fucked them probably. Like <laughs> what I was known for was I, I could shoot so hard, man. Yeah. I, they, they called me the, le the left. kick. They called me the left missile. Shooting is with your hands. No, you the shoot basketball. a soccer ball. You kick it. No, it's a kick. No, you kick. You're passing with kicks. You're shooting with kicks. You're the crossing the ball in with kicks. But anyway, this I blasted. Shot everything, huh? I blasted a shot. You know what I mean? yeah. Drilled a woman right in above the vagina area. Yeah, right. Her, I guess where the where the business end of thing, the ovaries and all. I always that. thought a vagina was in the belly for a long time. Yeah. Well, I we're gonna get to that I, after this. Cool. I shot it so hard and hit her there, and she made a noise just like a. Like a like a cow, yeah. giving a sort of a sick cow, just, oh, yeah. and just started yeah. crying. Yeah. Like, and I was like, yeah. "Well, I'm out of this. I can't play co-ed." So you think women aren't strong <laughs> enough? Is no, I just say it's. 
uh, no, They're but I'm saying what scouts. you're saying where it's like where it's all about fear. It's not about it's like I'm afraid I don't want to hurt yeah. a woman. I'm not that's not okay. But also, if you kick the man, he might make the same noise. No. Because yeah, maybe in the penis. Yeah, or in the stomach because you're losing your air. No, no, no. And it, I this think was that not an air issue. In particular was a coward. She <laughs> was a coward. Not because she's a woman, but her in particular coward woman yeah because i would have oh boy the microphone's getting weird man i can't I be fucking I handcuffed I what can someone do what can someone do what can know. someone do when the <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. and we're back to the shark to the hammerhead shark tank with rocky dennis oh, hang on. oh wait i think we gotta fix the wire that was good though um also tell me about your oh can i tell oh. you about a time i was in a i was in a moshing show yeah, of course. Why not? Um, I was at a show. Uh, I was at a concert doing my concert things. I used to go see these bands. You know, I used to be into hardcore music. Uh, and I used to be scared. I was telling, you know, I used to want to mosh, right? Yeah. Are you already bored with the story with that breathing? In the no, back? I'm worried about the... No, I'm not bored with the story. I'm worried about the wire, and I'm wondering, should I go look for a wire while you say this story? Like, what is... Because I don't have headphones in pause it. How... Okay. Oh, There we are. We are back. Sorry, people. We had to take a break because the wire was breaking and we we had the technical problems and we're technically back and then i tried to restart the podcast what's this times. about moshing i could get into that well uh <laughs> i <laughs> <laughs> it's a real house of cards over here yeah this thing is crazy this wire is very sensitive and it seems to only be manipulated by emotions it doesn't mm. matter when you're it doesn't matter when you're when you're uh moving it's when you're angry or you seem to get nervous it reads it and then it says well if he's out i'm out Interesting. Oh, so it's yeah. a, almost a magic wire. Yeah. A wire of revealment. Yes. That's probably a wire maybe a wizard put a spell on. Oh, that's Low probably. level wizard. You know what I mean? Casting yeah. spells on wires. wires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Different electrical outlets. Yeah, MP3 players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you sure. name it. Sure. Well, headphone jacks. Yeah. Uh, hey, what, what if... Uh, I like the idea of a guy named Headphone Jack. <laughs> you know, his name is. Uh, what's he? What's his game? Yeah, yeah what do you he's think got he headphones on all the time, and he's like, eh, just call me Headphone Jack. You know, these guys always got music. He never listens to anything. He's got music all the time. He's... Sometimes people do that. They keep headphones in the whole time, and they make that their identity. Yeah, I, I mean, aside from Headphone Jack, obviously. Yeah, Headphone but... Kevin Iso. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I've seen other people kind of pull that move too. Yeah, it's yeah. a weird move. It's a shitty move. I remember Headphone, uh, this kid from high school. Hef yeah, who used to, and I swear to God, he looks at me one day and he goes. I just see this fucking other dude wearing headphones, not plugged into anything. That's my style. <laughs> oh, God. And I went, right. Are you serious? Are you yeah. serious that you're a real person? And he loved 311. Yeah. Of course he did. Yeah. That's a real high school thing to do. Something that's not that unique and yeah. claim it as this is my whole thing. Yep. Nobody else gets to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. People would even do that with sneakers. Yeah. yeah when yeah. they'd be like, you know, I, those are my, you don't get to. It's I, like, well, Nike released millions of these yeah, things right, right, so right, 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 right. not just for you you're not just that guy sneakers right, right, you don't right, get right. sneakers i have i'm the right. guy who has them yeah. what are you what are you, what are you you're out here wearing blue jeans I'm, I'm teddy blue jeans everyone knows that yeah that's what i do because i take all these people's material and they're like what the fuck those are my jokes and i'm like yeah you i all we all do them now i do them too <laughs> is that not cool i invented uh i, I, uh, I never care about some uh, i'm just kidding i don't steal material i invented a real uh real shallowly thought out character this week yeah and he was just a guy uh that loves apple juice too much Ooh. and i would just so i just kept because i just happened to have an apple juice one day yeah, yeah. so i would just keep every time i took a sip i would just go oh yeah <laughs> and that was the extent of that character what's that guy's name apple jack yeah apple jack loves oh. apple juice give me a goddamn martinelli's <laughs> oh yeah let me say this don't give me a martinelli's because they're not giving you enough apple juice. They're, they're going to do it a new bottle, though. What? They got a new bottle. I, I look... Is it more? Yeah, it's more. Ounces? I think it's more. Uh, the other one's shaped like an apple, though. It's too small. Give me a give me a quart. <laughs> yeah, uh, give me apple give cider me a on a tree. gallon. So let me tell you about this story. I used to, speaking of yeah, the relying on a personality. I used to rely on being straight edge was my personality. Right, right, right. right because right. people were drinking and I was scared. So right. I didn't yeah. have to say no. I'd just be straight edge. Yeah. Um. So you guys don't know when it explodes. I do. Yeah. Every time I pause, it means <laughs> yeah. it exploded. So these kids, we would go to these shows, and kids would mosh, right, dancing, as you know, whatever. And yeah. I was too embarrassed to ever do it. Not because uh, it was an embarrassing thing to do, which it is. Uh, it was <laughs> yeah. because I didn't think I would do it good. 
Yeah, and I was yeah, scared yeah. that people would make fun of me for the f- way that I would throw my fists into the air <laughs> at, at people in the face. So I was going to this show, and I think my brother had put some pressure on me. He was like, right. well, I never see you do. I go, what are you talking about? I always, I always dance when you're not looking. You know? and, yeah. and he was like, well, we'll check you out next time we go. You know? So we go to the show. And uh, now the night before, I am practicing. Yeah. I am standing in front of practicing. a mirror. Very I hard to it. practice on your own. Yeah. by yourself. Yeah. No, it's, it's specific dance moves, like picking up the change, doing the windmill, you know, doing, you know, all those different things, you know. Does just that happen in the a mosh lawn. pit? Yeah, man. That's the dancing part. I thought you just slammed. No, that's what f- fools do. People who go <laughs> to, like, see you know, shit bands are just slamming into each other. But in like hardcore shows, these actual shows, moves are called picking up the change. That's a move, picking up the change. Uh. Is when you're just throwing your fist down, you're picking up the change, or you're mowing the lawn. You know, like you're ripping the lawnmower. And these Windmill. are all moves that they're called these things, but they're for hitting other people. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> but they're just they're just I mean, called fun things. In a weird way too, it like it, it wasn't really about hitting people. Yeah. Like you do the moves. And if someone got in the way, they would get hit. But yeah. you wouldn't really intentionally go out to like hit anyone. And most people who did, I always thought were like, well, that guy's a piece of shit. Right. Yeah. You know, like but a the lot moves of people... themselves are for them. No, yeah. well, ca- I mean, they're more dancing, you right? You know when you do karate, and it's like, yeah, yes. it was made to do that. But also, when they did it on the island in Karate Kid 2, it was also a form of dance. Right. So it's very similar to that. Yeah, it's a fighting thing. But it's also like, you do it that okay. way. You know, right. like, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. that's the kind of way that in I'm the in. scene I was in I got was kind of more like that. Yeah, of course, you're starting there hitting people and, you're, and that's happening. Yeah. But you never really went out so to be like, you... I'm going to hit that guy with this picking so up change. So I ball. always thought it was more of a body slamming thing. You're actually fist hitting people. Yeah. Wow. Did you know about Wait, this? body slamming. You thought, I thought people when you were mocked, body you just slammed people? into each other. No, uh, not slamming down, but like I thought slam you were smashing dancing. your bodies yeah, into each other. I didn't know what was going on. You're thinking there's hitting? People do like these moves. You got to Google them. You know, I can't yeah. do it on via radio. I don't know how to explain it. So what are you wearing? You're wearing like an all checkered outfit with bleach blonde hair? Your mother is a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she was. I'd have a daddy. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. I was in a hardcore, so I was wearing camo cutoff shorts. <laughs> Black, you know, black t-shirt, band t-shirt, probably some shit yeah. like that, uh-huh. you know, and I'm practicing in the mirror. I'm yeah. I'm change. I'm doing my windmill. I'm doing yeah. my moves, you know? Right. Uh, I think I got the, I got this down. Yeah. I got this yeah. down. Yeah. Right? Feeling good. Band comes on. Uh-huh. I think it was, this, I think it was this band Bane, which I loved. So this is the next day. This is when you go to the show. We go. So you had been practicing all night. Oh, we, yeah, all night. All I mean, I'm, t- I get there all tired. Week. Tired. I'm like, sore. You're already tired. Sore. He's sore. Yeah. Sore. Yeah. 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 And I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to just go in. I'm going to do my moves. I'll uh-huh. work on some moves. I'm going to do my windmill. I'm going to do my, my, you know, my flippy move. I got some moves, right? <laughs> Did you do any of that were your own? You know what I mean? Oh, you mean like create? Like a, yeah, like we're like, no, because look, I was too if I get confident with the windmill or the yeah. change, maybe I'll do this I'll one. try like yeah. the uh, lookout man, the, <laughs> the Sailor <laughs> okay, Dave. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. No, not at that point in my you, career. I okay. was too shy. Too, okay, yeah, I was yeah. too shy. Yeah, yeah, got it. Uh so I get in, right? I'm like, so we're there. And I would always hang on the wall. My move was you hang back yeah. on like the wall. And then when people would come to me, I would put my fist out. You push them. Or if someone gets full, I would run in and, and bring them out. That was my move. Oh, all right. You're the lifeguard. Oh, you're like, lifeguard. Oh, yeah, lifeguard. Lifeguard Greg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was sorry, my, sorry. That, that's what I usually would do. Yeah. Right. But this time I'm jumping in, right? Yeah. I Whoa. jump. I jump in to the middle, right? Wow. Swing my fist back. Uh huh. Immediately <laughs> connect with someone's face. Pull back blood on my no, hand no. and i look back and that is the first time i ever punched a woman in the face oh boy. Oh boy. and oh boy. now i did not whatever but it was this woman and she looks back and then a crimson mask her face is covered in blood oh could yeah. have just been my blood no from her i mean like she, and she just goes yeah thumbs ups me yeah thumbs ups me does like a flip and like wheelhouse kicks some other guy in the face and i said this is too much for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, she ended up that woman ended up being some kind of like MMA fighter or something. Wow, you but you punched her in right in the face on accident, and I was like, "This is not." For you me. birthed her career. She was already, and my oh. brother was like, "Oh, what, her? Nah, man, don't worry, she'll kick everybody's asses." Yeah, yeah. Here. right, right. Yeah, that's she's into it. That's what wow. they do. That they right. She's probably it. so excited. Yeah, she's and probably like, "Oh, a fight." Truth be told, I don't think the blood was from my hitting her. I yeah. think I hit her, but she had already had just blood all over her. Yeah, yeah. She, she came with blood on she her. She came yeah. with blood. That's a pre-blood. good move. That's how you, you pre-blood. You, pre-blood you go to this up. mosh pit pre-blood so no one kind of messes with you. That's the thing. Have yeah. you ever seen uh, uh, The 25th Hour with Ed Norton? No, I would like to, though. Yeah, the movie about him going to jail. Yeah. Yes. I love that movie. Yeah, it but is it's a great It's also kind of weird where, it, like, so he goes in jail. Do you mind if I tell you? It's not going to spoil anything, okay. really. All right. I was waiting, but fine. Uh, so he goes to jail, ago. and he's like... 
well, my only my only hope of surviving in there is for you guys to beat the shit out of me before I go in. So he's like thinking if he's not pretty anymore. Yeah. But it's like, no, nah, they'll still fuck you, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's not. Yeah. I yeah, don't yeah, know yeah, how yeah. good of a. They're just gonna think you're a pussy. Yeah. yeah it's right? jail. Yeah. They're not picking and choosing. Yeah. They're not like, oh god, no, gross. Yeah. They're not <laughs> yeah. gay to begin with. <laughs> right. They're doing this yeah. out of necessity, so they're not. Yeah, yeah. That always bothered me. Like, yeah, no, I don't I, know, I, man. I this doesn't seem. That yeah. Bad. Oh god. I mean, I'm yeah. not. I'm, I'm not happy already to have sex with a man's yeah. asshole and, and now you have a black eye oh, come on i'm no animal yeah. someone in jail has to have tried the i like it move right the they what? try to rape you and just go "Ooh, <laughs> thank you i love it and just keep doing that so they right. go, oh well, yeah like if he old, likes it that takes away my thing like, like an I, old know. cartoon jester yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> nicer than I'm, i imagined <laughs> yeah. yeah welcome you're welcome here yeah. thank you yeah thank like, you I know that that sounds crazy and shitty. I know. But I if it's a last resort type thing, like you're in jail. Once again, though, you. I don't think they can. I think they're just like, I'm in a hole. This is great. I don't care what they're doing over there. It's also the uh, guy. The guy. I don't think the guy's like this guy's so annoying. I can't fuck him any longer. No, I think a lot of these guys they'll get off on the fact that they're overpowering you. Oh, you know that they're like you're. You're my piece of meat now oh. you know and if you just go i've always been they go well then there's no chase well it's interesting I, as a student of prisons i'm very <laughs> yes. i'm very i love like reading about prison they're fascinating to me uh some prison systems like depending what state you're in what like rape is kind of rare oh really yeah like in california it's really Everyone's chill. Looked yeah. down upon? It's really looked down upon. Everyone's now, super it's chill. More, it's more like there's consensual sex happens. Oh, that's okay. Um, that. But it's like, because, it, because it, depending on where you're at, like yeah. the Aryan Brotherhood is big in California, and they don't really stand, they, they hate gay people, you yeah, know? Yeah. And then also, I think uh, the, the um, whatever, the black gang in California that runs it mostly, they're real against it. So, like, yeah, yeah. this guy was saying in this interview I read that in California, it doesn't happen that much. Rape is sort of rare, mm. um, whereas in some other systems... Kind of. I mean, it's still... The prison system is fascinating because it's, like, it's the one place where, like, racial segregation is still, like, institutionalized. It's like yeah, the yeah. white guys live right, over here, the right, black... Right. And it's just for safety, you know? Yeah, like yeah. Um, High school, too, though. Yeah, to some degree... What are you talking about? My high, high school, school is pretty the, integrated. The Asian kids would eat with the Asian kids. I don't know that that's true in our high school. <laughs> <laughs> I would see that. I saw that. What? Yeah. Lots of times, the Asian kids would hang out with the Asian kids, and then, you know, other groups as well. Well, it was me, Horace, Mr. Wonton. He hung out with us. Well, it's your table. But I'm saying I saw it. You did, saw an Asian guy. Did you not sit at Greg's table? No, we had different periods. Oh, Maybe it was sucks. my period. Your period was messed up, though. Our school, my school was so <laughs> big true. that, like, some kids, I remember, would eat, their lunch would be at, like, 9.30. I know. Where was you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, is yeah, this? Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. just say, you like. You can't do that. Well, you're, you're, you go to lunch now. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luck of the draw. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your lunch is breakfast. Nothing <laughs> yeah. we can do about it. Sorry, yeah. pal. And you're, you're, you're drudged the same. <laughs> right. Yeah. You have lunch at 9.30 in the morning. We expect the same results out of you. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's going to affect somebody at all. Or you eat at three. Yeah, Either or you one. eat at three. Right. Hard to say. Good luck studying <laughs> yeah. for the whole day yeah. Yeah. based on those hours. There's only so much room in the yeah. cafeteria. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we got to get everyone through here. Yeah, your, lunch, your lunch before school. <laughs> yeah, couldn't figure out a better system <laughs> yeah. for you. Lots of luck out there. Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is bullshit. I never really thought of it that way. Yeah. But that, it, it's so set up to, to not be even no. yeah. in any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, but the rich kids get the good lunch. That's what I thought. Yeah, you, you. I don't. I never knew if there were inner workings like that at a yeah. public school because I know that stuff goes on at a private school. Of course, public school, man. I didn't get to be on any teams or even offered to be on any teams because the parents weren't giving money, so they didn't even tell us. They didn't even come tell our classes to even know about those fucking things. You know, offered to be on a yeah, team. Yeah, you know, there were no offers. There was going no out. offers. No, but going they say like, who's trying out? Yeah, you had to look into <laughs> no. it. You had to no, go try out. They did not go classroom <laughs> to classroom and go, who's trying out? They knew. They knew. Offers. Because if you had parents who had to stay on the, who they'd stay on the wire, then you found out about sports. I didn't, we didn't find out about sports. Stay on the wire. Well, not, not to get political again. Yeah. I know we got, but this is the craziest thing about our country. Like, they, everyone always talks about like, well, it's hard to make reforms and this, that, and the other. But here's an easy reform. Schools are funded for the most part by, um, property taxes 
mm-hmm. from the community that the school is in. Mm-hmm. So talk about a way of just making sure the rich schools stay good and the poor schools stay bad. Oh, yeah, Like, yeah. why wouldn't there just be equal federal funding for all schools? But it's funded by... So if you live in... If you're going to the high school in, like, ghetto Cleveland, yeah. your school gets money from the property taxes of that neighborhood, which are nothing because the houses are worth nothing and yeah, yeah. people can't afford and it's all... And if your school is in, like, rich fucking suburban new jersey it's there. funded by the <laughs> property taxes of mansions yeah, yeah. which is like oh that's the simplest reform ever yeah yeah make it federally the teachers funded make more money what in uh, those districts? no probably not so then what's that even mean it means there's more money for books and everything oh. and just well, everything's on an ipad now true true yeah dude that so was your idea shit, huh? yeah it was yeah, cool, nah, yeah, yeah it was nah. cool <laughs> and, oh so we want, you guys want to do the airline business yeah, yeah, trying to Anthony's yeah. wet airlines. But right before we get to there, uh-huh. we're landing this plane into the airline, I do want to say I want to get so good as the rad dudes that we have our own prison gang. Like there's the Aryans and then there's the rad dude cast listeners. Oh, the listeners. You know, like because yeah. all our listeners are going to be in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's fun. And that you know they're listeners because they wear headphones not plugged in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Why? Yeah, why? You think mm-hmm. I'm going to go up against... The Mexican Mafia, the, uh, the the Aryan Brotherhood, yeah, the Black Gorilla Family. You think I'm gonna come up against them with urge and, and yes? Uh, all right, if Dude, we have Jared to, we Bear have to. Is a soldier, and this other guy, Harrison's got a dog. If we also, have to, we too, have to. we're talking about white collar criminals, yeah, who can affect real power within the system that they're placed in. If you think our listeners are white collar criminals, no, I know who our listeners are. You ever see the movie Con Air? Yeah. yeah, our listeners is that one guy who they had strapped in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his yeah. Mouth. yeah Steve yeah. Buscemi, who oh. plays with the little doll. Yeah, yeah, damn right. Yeah. Our guy's got to have a, a jaw guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's true. Unassuming. You yeah. damn but right. Maniacs. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, just like us. Just like us. That's why people say, "Oh, when you go into prison, beat up the toughest guy there." This is what I say: Go in eating one of those giant turkey legs. Yeah, because that'll throw people off. Yeah. Those things are crazy. You stick they're the very, bone right up your ass. They're very big, yeah, and stick the bone up yeah. your ass. Lots of luck raping me. I just did it, everybody. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no room. Yeah. No room in there, boys. <laughs> the inn is full. Yeah, <laughs> turkey got to me first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no vacancies, but you can try. <laughs> you guys just made me realize a dream I had last night. We could do the airline thing. The dream was not very good. Doesn't matter. Uh, you know, the mask. What am I going to go with that guy? What? Rocky Dennis. All right, tell me about your airline. Oh, my airline. Yeah. yeah. Well, to get people to the Red Dudecast live event, yeah. which, by the way, is November 6th at, at 7, 7 p.m. At, at the New York, York Comedy, Comedy Club. Club. Code name Rad Dudecast. No. Rad Dude. Okay. Is it Rad Dude or Rad Dudes? I believe it's Rad Dude. I'll no, Rad I don't know. Dude. Uh, promo code Rad Dude. Yeah, okay. I should. Uh, yes, exactly. Like Anthony said, November 6th, mm-hmm. 7 p.m., New York Comedy Club. Promo code Rad Dude. Yeah. Come uh, out, bring friends. It's going to yeah. be phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe I'll have your t shirts there. Yeah. And that's yeah. Halloween night. We're probably. So not. dress, you come in character if you want. That's not Halloween night. That's not Halloween night, but also come in character <laughs> if you want. <laughs> come dressed as your favorite yeah, character. Yeah, come dressed as your favorite character if you want. Obviously, you don't have to. No. But that could be fun. Come, come dressed as your favorite character. And also, how you envision them. Bring, feel free to bring us offerings of money, food, whatever you want. Posters. Yeah. yeah. Books. Write us a book. Write, a write us a book. Yeah. That's the thing. I'll read it. Yeah, get yeah, it published. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Bring us a signed copy. Yeah. Or your graduate degree. Yeah, yes. Yeah. We'll Give us your we'll, PhD. We'll hang it up. We'll or we'll it burn up. it. We'll burn it. Whatever it you want. <laughs> Whatever. You name it, we'll do it. You name it, we'll do it. Bring us something, we'll do something to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll piss on a shirt, drink it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Squeeze yeah. it out into your mouth. I have drank pee before. Have you? Have you? Yeah, why not? I don't know. What do you mean, why not? No because it's does. urine. Oh, well, okay. I hadn't <laughs> yeah. thought of it that way. Um, you know how you know you'll get sick? No, if you're sick from drinking your you know you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> that was the thing I was Yeah, about that's funny. I, no, I, I've drank my own pee before. Not like a, I've drank a bottle of it or anything like that. The taste. But, you know, some of it spills places, you know, whatever. It gets in my mouth. I don't care. Okay. Well, there seems to be some <laughs> some sort of leap here that's occurred. Some of it spills places. Yeah, I'm splish splashing around when I take a pee. It deflects off the toilet seat. A little bit gets in my mouth. Whatever. Not How short deal. are you? Are you that short? What's that? <laughs> no, I you... pee in an interesting way. 
What does that mean? Like off a rebound into the? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing all kinds of trick shots. <laughs> like that game Crossfire. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Good. You ever have a kid that had Crossfire? That was very fun. Did you ever play that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The commercial like a thousand on TV. Mile, mile they had all those yeah. BB uh, little metal balls, and you'd shoot them and try and get that thing across into his goal. Yeah, great game. That is a fun. Game. Yeah, remember the show Crossfire? Yes, with Chris Matthews. Yeah. No, that's Hardball, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. No. I've never. I don't know what Crossfire. The guy, the old guy. The old Southern guy who's bald. He was in uh, Jim Carvel. Jim Carvel was a Re- no. What's not his name? No, uh, James Carvel. Carvel. James Carvel. Short for Jim. that old. That old. That old. They would call him the old Raging Cajun. Yeah. 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 He's yeah, yeah, to, yeah. Uh, Marley Matlin. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, Marley yeah. Matlin. No, maybe not. He's mar- mar- married to the, some uh, sort of. He, he's Monroe. a Democrat and he's married to a Republican. Yeah, he's married uh, to like uh, Sotomayor. Nope. Uh, yeah, Maria Sotomayor. I, <laughs> I think he's married to Ronald Reagan. Who He's is? a Republican. Republican. No, James Ronald Carville is a uh, to another life. The Gipper. He died, brother. What? Yeah, Reagan. No, nah, I know, but he's, that doesn't mean he's not married to him. You can't marry a dead person. The, you, that no, that's bullshit. It you is? stay married to them. Is it? Yeah, unless you get divorced in a court of law, you're no, married. You to don't them. divorce a dead body. You're, you you don't do, divorce they it up them. And they man. drag it into the court. <laughs> no, you're married to them. No, There's no. Get... You're you can get another wife if you want. You can or a no, husband. That's me. What's up? Monogamy. <laughs> Monogamy. Monostophy. Oh, what is a multiple? Careful there, brother. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one when you have lots of lives? Polygamy. Polygamy. Yeah, you... But you're a you, so polygamist. Yes. If, you, if your wife dies and you marry again, you're a polygamist. Yeah. In your eyes. No, not in my eyes. In the court's eyes. No. I was yeah. on the phone with the if court your wife today. Dies. If your wife dies, you're married to them no matter what. No, your mom's mm-hmm. been lying to you, bro. Yeah, you're, uh, you're a, a called a widower, but you're technically married to them. No. No. Yes. No. You How have you to get a divorce to get another married. Sudden. Well, because, because but, you don't have to get divorced if your wife if your wife dies and you want to yeah. marry again. You don't Dude, have to. Horrific. Who are that you was? divorcing? No, that's what people do. They they do like on the like the deathbed. They do a last minute divorce. Uh, it's called a last go. minute divorce. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> you're gone, and sign this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah. Do you know what that would mean? You know what that means. You know <laughs> how me, sad that would tell be. Tell me exactly what that means. Because you just bury your husband. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go and by the way, we have to end this thing. <laughs> no, they do it before. You can't do it after. You can't, if you do it after, everyone's oh, as they're married. dying, <laughs> as they're dying, you have a divorce yeah. before you get married again. Yeah, he come, the guy or the whoever the lawyer is comes in and they go, look, you're about before the it, right after the priest comes in, the, the last the minute no. lawyer comes in. What? The last minute lawyer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who well, talk? they say no. They say no. <laughs> yeah, then you're just married. They're so married to them. And that's then, a whole thing then, then if you want to get married again. That's why they make it hard to remarry after a death because you want to be tied to that person. You pledge the love to them forever. So that's why they make it hard post-death to marry a new person. What? <laughs> Where do you know things from? Like what Wikipedia. Is- <laughs> no, no. Wikipedia last minute lawyer. Guarantee. Let me Siri this. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, do I have to divorce my wife no. if she dies? I'm telling you to Wikipedia. Siri's not going to know. This is a, you know, this is not a thing she knows probably. I don't know who your wife is, but if you tell me, I'll remember it. Fuck you. you. Fuck you. Yeah, don't try and you know, know things attitude. about me. Did I really try to be like you know, coy? I got coy, but you know the word. I got it. Just got a text from my friend Gregor. No, oh, yeah, for the FAA. Yeah, he said. You'll never, he said. You'll never. This wet airline will never get off the ground. Oh yeah, yeah. he's like the a, what? Food and Alcohol Administration. That like is? a wet shirt. The FAA. Don't think I've been fighting the FAA tooth right. and nail every day of my life with this goddamn airline. Tell I, me about your airline. Okay. All right, Anthony's wet airlines. Everything is wet. Mm-hmm. Uh, every- including electrical equipment. What's up? First question. <laughs> Everything's oh, wet. Yeah, all the electrical equipment. Everything is wet. Made with the same technology that they make waterproof phones with. So everything's wet. So you get a wet experience, okay. which is fun for a lot of people. Let me stop you before we move on. <laughs> uh, in the case of a cell phone, yes. they don't just make everything wet. They don't pre-wet it. That's yeah, why it's yeah, waterproof. Yeah. It's in a case that seals off the water. Yeah, the, so the, is, everything's in a case. So are there yeah, normal seats? That's what I mean, seats? the same technology. What? Are there normal seats? Yeah, they're normal seats. They're just in a cell phone casing, and everything's wet. See, here's the thing. The fun part about like a water park is yep. that is the friction created by the lack of friction created mm-hmm. by water. You're sliding, you're yeah. slipping. Yeah. If everything's just wet, it's unpleasant. Yeah. You're cold, you're wet. Yeah. Wherever you get, you're gonna be wet. You feel and well, the electrical equipment. 
we're going to crash. All right. Well, tell that to these testimonials. Okay. <laughs> Before you even get into the testimonials, which you're clearly going to hear, yeah. what does one mean by tell it to a testimonial? What is one like? You look at a commercial and yell at the commercial. Yeah. Well, yeah. After after you watch these <laughs> testimonials, all right. You do sharks hit play. You mm -hmm. see if you're still against this idea. Okay, okay. Show us the testimonials. Okay. Cool. All right. Great. Uh, here's number one. Yeah. Hey, it's me. Okay. <laughs> Who's this guy? Rob Ronald Reagan, the Gipper. <laughs> sure, Rob Ronald Reagan. Oh, you said I'm Ronald Reagan. Got no, it. no, Rob Ronald Reagan. That's more fun. It's me, Rob Ronald Reagan, the Gipper, <laughs> owner of Rob Ronald Reagan's famous hamburgers. Get them on the highway. Get them while they're hot. We exclusively have stores on highways. Anyway, I flew Anthony's wet airline, and I gotta say, I got pretty wet, and I liked it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the kids uh -huh. were all flight attendants, and I thought that was pretty cool because yeah. I lost my son. So it reminded me that children are out. It reminded me of a child's laugh, which is important to me. So if you have any problems <laughs> Just with let him go. Anthony's wet airline, yeah. you're wrong. Uh -huh. I think you're wrong because I had a good time, and I got all wet, and it cost nothing. Okay. Uh, so... Well. If I could tell end something, of the, that's the end of the testimonial. Right. If I could, yeah, yeah, as you said, you, know you could uh, tell things to the testimonial. If <laughs> yeah. I could speak to this particular yeah. testimonial, at, at this point, I want to sort of put aside for a second the wetness factor. Yeah. Because okay. as Greg said, it's going to severely affect the electrical system. Yeah. You heard Ronald Ronald Reagan though. I know. Well, right. and that's what I and that is that did bring up some other okay. points <laughs> that I would like to delve into as a shark because I will say as a yes, shark. Yeah, I will yeah, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although dubious, I'm not out yet. Uh -huh. I'm still considering yeah. investing. Uh -huh. uh, Do you want to know about my market shares? No, we'll get not that quite. Uh, one thing I would like <laughs> to know about two two primary yes. issues. Yeah, uh, love uh, to hear. And uh, I'll take them in. I'll take my answers in either order. One, uh, <laughs> children. All flight attendants are children. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like that's a little concerning too. because I think there are okay, some great. labor laws. Yes. And then, and then so do you want to take so that first? I'm hoping this question would come. Okay, take that no, first. No, 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 no. Do the second one because well, the then second I, question. Because the second one might pair with this one. So I, okay, yeah, I'll interesting. Because as an investor, right, <laughs> my primary focus, uh, yeah. and as is Rocky Dennis's, uh -huh. probably I want some return on my investment at some sure, point. Sure, of course. Running doesn't? an airline, expensive, even when dry. <laughs> now, you're talking about yes. a fully yes. wet planes. There's going to be quite a few costs associated. Uh, yes. One thing, uh, uh, great, Rob great. Ronald Reagan, Two great questions. Uh, the Gipper, the owner of Highway Hamburgers, exclusively on the yes. highway, which, mind you, that's a business proposition that actually m fucking makes sense. <laughs> well, maybe more. he'll come in next. Uh, pointed out. <laughs> and I'll testify Anthony's, for his thing. <laughs> Anthony's wet airlines, <laughs> completely free. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I thought this was a business idea you were bringing to It me. is a business and idea. And how are you making money? So answer those two questions in whatever <laughs> order you... And then I have a question. Them. Yeah. Perfect. Great. These are great questions. Now, your first question... <laughs> what was the first question again? Uh, all the flight attendants are children. Yes, all the flight attendants are children. Okay, this is well thought out. Now, it is because um, um, when you have a child, when yeah. you're very young, say, I, I knew a lot of girls that I went to high school with who were pregnant in high school. One. Now, unfortunately, if you get pregnant... Before the age of 18, yeah. you can't work. So you have no money to raise this child. Mm -hmm. So with this... That's a really good point. I never This was the airline company. Mm -hmm. You employ children to make the money so that way you can't work. So these kids can work so you can make money off your kids. So rather it being a hindrance, it becomes uh, fiscally responsible to so have a kid. Because the parent is too young, yes. the kid is now no longer young enough. Yes. yes. So the younger... Here's the thing with labor laws. You can't work from 10 to 18 but mm -hmm. from 10 and under you can have like lemonade stand kind of things right this is akin to that so they just sell lemonade on the place so let me ask you this you ha well I have a question. they have to do that okay, I'm like for Greg. legal reasons yeah. but there is no lemonade on the plate but they will sure. say do you want to buy lemonade and you they just say that as a formality i gotta be honest yes. <laughs> with a man whose face is as scary to look at <laughs> as any burn victim murder victim you've ever seen uh, most is, people I, fear looking at me yeah i fear getting on your plane yeah let me say this now this is my question what in your eyes is anything positive about having a wet airline having a wet airline i'll tell you what's very positive about that because then when you get off the wet airline and everything's dry it's that much better so it just makes the world better it makes the world better 
Sometimes you have to you go sometimes like at the the old Whitney Museum in New York. Yeah. The, the stairwells were purposely claustrophobic so that when you walked out of the stairwells and into a gallery space, it seemed that much you could really breathe more. Odd. You okay, you go ahead. Well, this is a Do you know what I mean? This. Yeah. Okay, great. But if your life is already terrible, yes. getting on the plane is just also terrible. Yes, well, that's what the children are there for, to provide optimism. <laughs> All right. Brendan, what's your question? So I, what was part two? I thought that was part two. Well, part two was that it's free. Yeah. Yes, it's free. Yes, it is free in that there's uh, zero cost <laughs> to get on my wet airline. As free uh -huh. means, yes. Right. Who's paying for this? <laughs> What's up? I'm paying for this out of pocket. But because of this wet air, I get so much fanfare and so much fanfare. positive reaction from people from my wet uh -huh. airline. Sure. This leads me for political gain. Uh -huh. So it's free in the moment. But... You make the money on the back end when I become a political leader because of my public fanfare, because of my wet airline company. Do you understand what I'm saying? Free for now, yeah. it's an investment for later. There are so many holes and, yeah. and, and logical leaps. There's also holes in the plane. In this, <laughs> I would imagine uh, there were. Uh, that I am, I am only prepared to offer you $137 million dollars for four percent of the company. Four percent. Well, I got to think about that. Our margins are not very good. Hundred thirty grand for four percent. Hundred. Nope. One hundred and thirty-seven million dollars. Oh, and, oh, that changes things. <laughs> uh, uh, for four percent of the company. You, uh, wait, right do you, don't you want to see what the other shark is prepared to offer? Yeah, sure. That's pretty good, though. Well, I like children. <laughs> yeah. They don't like me. Uh huh. Uh, I like liquids. Yes. They don't like me no, as well. No, they don't. Okay. Uh, don't see myself making very much money. Not right now. Mm. But think about the political power that you gain in the future. And I love lemonade. There doesn't seem to be any. And for that reason, I'm out. Okay. Oh. I'll, well, okay. You could have just had. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you. Yeah, all right. I mean, I'm out. I don't want it. So know. now your offer still stands $137 million for 4%. Of Anthony's Wet Airlines. Yes. Yeah, all right. I'll take that. That's a no-brainer. Good. Let's shake on it. Okay, great. Okay. And now with my 4%, I can't wait to get this political influence on the back <laughs> Yeah, end. you're uh, a smart uh, man. This See, was uh, exactly. the deal of a lifetime. Yes. You slept, smart Rocky man. Dennis. Uh, I don't think often. Also, you, too, you're not taking into account my strong ties to Rob Ronald Reagan. And, and I took those empire, into account. Yeah, empire. Yeah, yeah. Who's, he's very successful. Can I pitch a product to the other sharks? Sure. Sure. Okay, what's your who's your shark? Uh I'll be um I'll be Angela Merkel. Okay. Who's that? She's Chancellor a vice uh, German chancellor, prime minister something. whatever. I don't yeah. know. Some ch Europe thing. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Oh, I got one. I want to be one. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, who's your shark? Or I'll meet him when I come in. Okay. Hello. Oh, oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> How are you? You guys figure this out i still gotta figure this hello out. who are you I, angela merkel german prime minister i'm pretty sure today i come on shark tank to try and sell my product yes. what is your product uh, one? are you so tired of your boxes having bottoms mm, what what your boxes <laughs> yeah, sort of explain a little bit <laughs> are you isn't everyone tired of all their boxes having bottoms? <laughs> I got to say, not <laughs> really. <laughs> Once again, a little confused <laughs> by your terminology. When you got the cardboard box, it's got the top and the bottom. Okay, it's oh, got a boxes. Yeah, yes, cardboard yes, boxes. Yes, yes, yes. Are you tired of your cardboard boxes? Yes, I am. They have sick of it. Tops and bottoms. Uh huh. Oh yes. That's why. For you here today, I bring you a Samantha's bottomless boxes. So uh, okay, wait, 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 run it by me one more time. There's cement. It's a hoop. No, 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 no. They got a top. Like a hoop. It's a hoop. No, 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 no. Like a hoop. Hey, stop it. Samantha's bottomless box is not a hoop. It's a box. Cardboard box. It's like, a cardboard box with yeah. no top and no bottom. No, they got a top. <laughs> Look at the top. What yeah. at the bottom? Open it up. What do you see? The ground. The ground. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, ooh, interesting. Well, let me ask you this, Angela. What's the worst part about 
when you put everything in a box. For, uh, it gets heavy. No, oh, you okay. got to take it out. Uh. Bottomless boxes, you don't take it out. You put it in the box, then you lift up the box. It's already there on the ground. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah that's pretty interesting. That's a, I like <laughs> that a lot, actually. Yeah, I bottomless think. boxes. I, I have to put the Deckler on this and say this uh, box. Hang on for one second. Before we go any further, who are you? <laughs> Maybe you can't tell by my dark robe and dark being. <laughs> I, leader of the of the empire. <laughs> yes, it seems that way, but <laughs> Emperor Palpatine. Yes, okay, okay. Ah, yeah, that's who I wanted today when I came in. I said, I hope if I get this in might be good <laughs> for your ship. That's what I say. I say I hope I get investment from either Barbara Corcoran <laughs> or Emperor Palpatine. Yes. No, I will not. Well, I'm a little torn on this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, of course, speak your mind. I right? mean, I want to say <laughs> yes because <coughs> it uh, really just is a hassle. It pisses people off. Really annoying. And I like annoying things. How does it piss people <laughs> off? I'm a little uncomfortable. Because you're essentially just smashing your own things onto the ground. If oh. you open a box with no bottom and then you throw in a vase, a vase is broken. No, but. And the dark side of me loves that. Yeah. Tell that. Why don't you tell that to a testimonial? Let's see a testimonial. Hey, it's me, Ron Ronald Reagan, the Gipper of oh, Ron the Ronald, <laughs> the Great yeah. Hamburger King. <laughs> yeah, He's back. you know me from my hamburger stores, exclusively sold on the highway. This now these true. boxes, bot Samantha's bottomless boxes, have revolutionized the hamburger <laughs> business. You're, we're trying to ship one thing fr from one place to another. Mm -hmm. Turns out we don't have to take it anywhere. Throw it in the box, lift the box up. It's already there. I have a question for this. I tend to think that Rob Ronald Reagan will endorse anything. <laughs> yes, yeah, for him, that's I, f I feel somehow that's how he's gotten to fame. <laughs> he's His whole marketing anything. is yes. endorsing other things. Well, yes, well, I think it all because I am kind of hungry with the the initial idea of his initial business is a little dumb. <laughs> so he's fine with any other business. His initial business of having hamburgers on the highway is dumb. <laughs> yeah. This is just a great business. Oh, man. Similar to one his friend with similar name Ronald McDonald has. <laughs> oh, I did not put that together. <laughs> Emperor Palpatine, you know so much about business. Yes, well, I started an entire empire yes, 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 with I'm two true. people. Yes, I'm just a lowly politician <laughs> who is here for... Because she's never been on a, a television network. Eh, just for fun, one. Mm. Anyway, I'm prepared anyway. to hear offers. Okay. Uh, okay. Question. I feel like I should have questions. Go ahead. Ask okay. away. Uh, okay. So what? So you, when you take the box away and your stuff is still there, that seems like a problem. Well, I. Well, then what you, you forgot do to do. You forgot to one thing. The box weighs. You can never take it away. It is made out of uh, cadmium lead. <laughs> Which weighs <laughs> upwards of twenty-two thousand pounds. It's never movable. So, so you just. How do you deliver it to someone? Oh, uh, well, no, there's no delivery. To what? Yeah, yeah, you put it there, bottomless box. You put it wherever you want, and we well, deliver. See, here's it. the problem. in the world. Yeah, wherever is, if in the it world. can't be moved, then it has a bottom, unless there is a hole in the earth that goes straight through the earth. There is. And we only have one of these boxes. What you're proposing will drastically change the landscape <laughs> of planet Earth. Well, some people, I call them Samantha's bottomless boxes. I have heard it mm -hmm. uh, said before mm -hmm. that this is a direct gateway to hell. Oh. oh. And you do, you can, if there you go in one of Samantha's bottomless boxes, you will be transported to the demon dimension. Uh, but that's, like. well, that's not what we're selling them for. See, yeah. as now as... Okay. It's like when they sell uh, Robitussin and people yes. use it for drugs. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. Papatine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we can't endorse it, but you could if you did yeah. want to congregate with the sure. devil himself. Yeah, okay. One of these chromonium lead sure. bottomless boxes are really the only way. Hmm. Well, There's only one in, in existence created by Gorbagon. Gorbagon. I must say, I say, uh, you know, I say, a, a, a political leader in Europe... 
Yeah, I cannot be involved with a project that is opening up portals to hell. For that reason, I am out. Well, it's your lucky day. <laughs> I love this idea. To harness the power of a dark demon Gorgon, Gorgadon, Gorgazon. <clears throat> I love it. Here is my offer. Yeah. I will give you the company for free. Th thank you. I would take it. But I will give you the company for free. Well, I... <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me try one more time. I was just chime in for a second. <laughs> I am I'm still in the room. I, just, I am up and I'm still in the room. It seems as if he is <laughs> waving his hand and giving you a suggestion. I which will give you... <laughs> I will give I Emperor say, Palpatine the company this is a man for <laughs> free. With special powers, who is he doing a particular thing? <laughs> Thank Clearly, you. someone is not up on their <laughs> yes, trilogy. Have you not, uh, I would like to give you the company for free. Sounds great. Thank you. I <laughs> love it. I'll take it. No. <laughs> uh -uh. no you, this is, okay, hang on a second now. This is the basis for this power is that you are on board. <laughs> Yes. No, <laughs> you you're driving me a little crazy right now. <laughs> no, you must be on board. But I want to get. Uh, I understand <laughs> what you want and don't want. Whatever you want and don't want is up to him because of the power that he holds. I know. I, I am the emperor. The power. Yeah, I felt the power in my brain. This enough. I felt it. It made me say, "I give you the emperor power." For you I give to you not be <laughs> to be able to withstand this power would be very particular <laughs> circumstances, <laughs> which I do not think you're aware of. I give you the company for free. Yes. But then I keep it. No, <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, no. I know how this works. Unless you are trained. Trained or of a very particular subset species. <laughs> this will not work on you. I know, but it worked on me. But then I came back to this me and I said, no, no, no. Not, this is not in and out. <laughs> I want my company back. No, 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 no. This is your well, all the way in. You, you don't want it back. Out. You don't want it back. No, I don't want it back. But Great. can I have a bad no, <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. No, no. It, okay. Not you works. are ruining this. <laughs> I give it to you for With free. With your stubbornness. <laughs> I give you the company for free. Thank you. I don't want it back. Perfect. Now, I still own the company, <laughs> no, though. No. Because no documents been signed. I think he signed. is so dumb. I think he is. Yes, I think <laughs> it is one of those situations. No, I'm a lady. Working. Similar I'm to a lady. lot of yes. characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are so they below. Are so below. Brain power. Average that intelligence. It's not catching on him. That is, yes, I think this is true. I'm used you to working with high-level emperor, yes. umpire, oh, yes. Yes. You and I who disagree about most things politically. <laughs> Do we? Okay. We don't usually disagree. We know we don't disagree. <laughs> let disagree. me offer you. No, we do disagree. Yes. Did you see the exchange <laughs> that we had just yeah, had? Yeah, I'll make you an offer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the company for free. Yes. I don't want the company back. No. Now, I forgot what happened before. How much money you give me for the company? No, that's not how a oh, gift works. Very, you're, you're just giving it to me. You're difficult. That's how I got pretty much the entire empire. I do understand how you got Rob Ronald <laughs> Reagan's <laughs> endorsement. Can I get Rob Ronald Reagan in here for a second? Yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's Amanda. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I'm fond of you, too. Just want to test something highway. out real quick. Rob Ronald Reagan, I love your hamburger business. Thank you very much. I would Sweet. love this to. On the <laughs> I would love to own it. May can you give me your hamburger company? I would like to give you my hamburger company. Thanks. Take it back. I don't need it. Have your own. Ro You'll have your own hamburger company still. <laughs> I have my own hamburger company still. Oh, cool! <laughs> that That's was how nice this works usually with normal brain people. Yeah, that was nice of you. Well, you know. I think this guy's. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> that was great. That was uh, great. Before we go. Before we go. Oh, do we have time or I do, we'll do that next. Do you want to, I don't even have to tell that story. Oh, yeah, I want to hear the story. Do you want to tell, uh, do you want to tell you the story? Tell the story and I have some plugs too. Yeah, oh, I, we right. have to plug. Well, let me set you up with the story. Me, yeah, set me up and then you just, you know, say things as I'm going, Greg, because I always forget parts and stuff. Uh, Yep, I'm going to do that. Wait, maybe we should save this story. It's a really good story, right? How long is it? No, nah, it's it's, gonna, really... it's like a minute long. Yeah, right. it's okay, not really go that ahead. long. Anthony had a really fun time in L.A. where he went to L.A. and met everyone who was going to give him all their own TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I had all these meetings, right? Yeah. Meetings so I with... Go to, 
all these meetings. The most famous of companies. So, yeah. But all the meetings, they're in, like, uh, there's just a ton of meetings. It's every day, yeah. like, four meetings a day. Mm-hmm. It's the whole day, right? Yeah. So, you know, you talk for an hour at one place. I take a cab. I go to another yeah. place. But all the meetings, they're in offices. They're on studio lots. So, whatever. So, the last meeting, it's whatever this address on Mulholland Drive mm-hmm. in the Hollywood Hills. It's all private residences. I have this. Don't uh, tell about the picture till after you find out yeah. who the person is. Because you tell the picture part first. First, don't tell the mural part until after. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, yeah, oh, yeah. great. This is a great. The art of storytelling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm lying. So like I, you know, I'm taking this cab uh, up to Mulholland Drive. I have this like Armenian cab driver, super cool guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's he's uh, he's <laughs> the minute I get in the car, he goes, "You want to smoke weed, bro?" <laughs> in the car, he just says that, and yeah. I'm like, like no. surfer type guy. Yeah, well, that's the thing because they're California people, and that overrides whatever race yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They're just yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that's real. Yeah. So so you know he's funny. We're cool. We're talking about comedy, whatever. I'm telling about like these meetings. He's into it, and then we're he we're so we pull up to this address at Mohon Drive, right? And he goes he goes. He goes, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> this must be real, bro. Like he like, and I'm like, I, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, like yeah. this, do, it doesn't seem. It seems weird because it's not like the other ones. Yeah. So I'm walking around. I'm about. I'm going to the airport right after this. I got yeah. my huge travel backpack. Yeah. Like I look like a European, you know, yeah. backpacker, or whatever. I'm exhausted. Um, I'm just going through this crazy neighborhood. I ring this one guy's gate. It's probably like Nick Nolte yeah, or something. Yeah. And I'm like, Anthony, I'm here to see Dan Swimmer. Get out he, goes, he just goes, get out <laughs> or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay. Cool. And there's like signs for, you know, there's guard dogs. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just kind of freaking out. I call uh, my agent right before, and I'm like, hey, man, I think this is the wrong address. Yeah. Like, I, this doesn't seem mm-hmm. right. He's like, I don't know, man. This is the address. So I ring the doorbell, and it's huge gate. And I go, Anthony, here to see Dan Swimmer. And they go, good luck. Come in. <laughs> gate. Good luck. Good luck. Who's ever said that Come in. the door? They, I swear good to God. Luck. Good luck. Come in. Huge gate opens up. That's like a haunted house. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I, so huge. I walk in. It's this, you know, like Pablo Escobar Narcos compound. Yeah. There's Ferraris in the driveway. Yeah. It's enormous. I don't know if I'm supposed to be there. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. So I just walk into this house. Yeah, yeah. I just walk into this just house. There's classical music pumping through, fine art on the walls. Yeah. I, I'm just – there's nobody there. I'm just <laughs> alone in this house. I could have robbed whoever yeah. was mm-hmm. blind. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just there. I'm just saying, Anthony, I'm Anthony. I just, I'm Anthony. I'm here for a meeting. I'm Anth- I'm freaked out. I think they're gonna kill me because I, I like, yeah, I'm not you supposed come into to be a there. Mansion. Yes, yeah. I just do it. So I'm I'm just looking around. There's a a thing on the fridge that says like, you know, third grade prize, you know, yeah. for drawing or whatever, uh, something something Cohen. And I'm like, okay, so surprise some producer, yeah. some you know Cohen, whatever. So then I so then there's nobody there, and I'm like, right, I don't know what this is. And then there's a second house. A smaller house yeah. down like a series of stairs and yeah. like a back patio. So I'm like, oh, there's people in there. Yeah. Let me just go in there. I'll find out yeah, kind of yeah. what's going on. I kind of try to tr- trot up slowly to yeah. be like, knock a shot. Yeah, yeah, knock a no shot. Like, yeah, make I'm here. Yeah, I'm yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, no. Russell, harm. Russell, Russell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Announcing my name. So I walk in the door, and the first person I see, it's Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> They're singing <laughs> Happy Birthday to him. It's his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and they're and I'm like, oh hi, and he just goes, hey man, you're here, and I was like, yeah, what? <laughs> and he goes, it's my birthday, and I went, wow, happy birthday. <laughs> And then uh, th- he's like, do you want some cake? And I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> and I was like, well, it's not really my flavor of cake. And he laughed at that, which I thought was nice. What and, is your flavor of cake? Yeah, it is vanilla. But yeah. I, was, you know, I was thinking on my feet. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so then, yeah, I just I crashed Sasha Baron Cohen's birthday party, and I had uh, birthday cake with him. And then it turns out it was his production company that I was ah. meeting with. And then after that, I went through the wrong gate. I was supposed to go through this other guest gate, but I just I got – too nervous and i didn't know that and i just went through the main gate but he was totally cool about it he was great he's uh super nice and then his production company and i we went off in this other they operate their office operates out of his tennis house got it so mural oh so that this was what tipped me off so there's a mural in his living room beautiful framed it's just like a crudely drawn thing of him and his wife with like leaflets over their genitals <laughs> and their kids. It's like a cartoon drawing in like Times Square yeah, or yeah, whatever. It's so funny. Just it's so funny in the middle of that's his, uh, amazing. Yeah, it was crazy. That's great. It was, was crazy. Meeting? Oh, it was awesome. They were super cool. They were like it was fun. It was easy going. He's in the background the whole time with his like kids on his shoulders, and I'm like trying not to look at that and focus 
on these people or whatever. That's crazy. Yeah, it was wild, man. I just walked mm. right into this thing. Wow. Yeah. Fuck. And then I, I went to the airport. You. So you're going to get that and more Sunday, November 6th at New York Comedy Club at 7 o'clock. Go on their website. Ra- uh, promo code RAD DUDE. Come out, man. Mm. We need you. Yeah, I, I got to be. I got some dates. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah. Do I not plug them because we're plugging this other no, thing? Plug no, your plug dates. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's it's weird, so funny. Right? That's so funny. It's crazy. This Hollywood, weekend, man, the 21st huh? and 22nd, I'm going to be at McGuire's Comedy Club. Where's that? In Long Island. Tickets available on their website, I'm guessing. Yep. And then on the 4th and 5th, I'm going to be in D.C. for the Big Hunt. November 4th and 5th. Greg Stone, Big Hunt in D.C. You can get tickets on that website. That's Those are fun shows. Yeah, those are fun. And then the 18th, uh, the 25th and 26th of November, I'll be with Michael Winslow. <laughs> some funny bone. It's up where? Yeah. Whoa. Funny bone. I don't know. Some one of, in Syracuse, I think. Oh, oh man. Awesome. Now, I'm going to learn some characters from that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah. going to learn the sound. Yeah. You gotta, then, he's got to teach you the sound stuff. But there's one I'm trying to say, which is, i got to remember where it is. Oh, the ninth, the ninth and 10th, I'll be at McGuire's headlining. Nice. McGuire's. And I'll be there. And Anthony's oh, yeah. open it up for me. Hell yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, uh, this is great. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. That's so crazy. Come out to all these dates. And if you come but, to New York for the thing on November 6th, honestly, we're going to have a party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please it's, come on the 6th. That's the thing that's the most important. Yeah. yeah. We're going to party. We're going to have a good time. Uh, scrounge up whatever money that you have. <laughs> and, Give it to us. And uh, yeah, buy a plane ticket yeah. uh, one way. And you know maybe uh, you'll figure out the way back. Make a you'll go of the it. Way. Exactly. Make, Make a, go a go of it. it. Maybe you meet someone. Maybe you fall in somebody. love. You never go back. They say New York. You know the 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 uh, between you're gonna get lost between the moon and New York City. That's true. I've heard you know? it a million and times. So don't buy a plane to get back. Yeah. So find love. I think I gotta watch more share movies. I've never seen Moonstruck either. Yeah, I don't remember Moonstruck. It was someone mentioned that, and I kind of bluffed my way through it, but I never really saw it. The mask is very sad. You should watch the mask. It's yeah, incredibly sad. It I might can't. just be called Mask. Yeah, it's some kind yeah, because I don't think you can uh, do two n- movies. Yeah, twice. it's interesting. Yeah, yeah you can. No. Star Wars. <laughs> no, but what I mean is they made the mask. Godfather. Oh, you're not getting what I'm saying. Ghostbusters. Once again. Ghostbusters You're 1 was stopping called... me at every turn. Aaron Brockovich. Such joy. Ghostbusters was called Ghostbusters 1, and the remake was called Ghostbusters again. That does suck, though. That is interesting. You if didn't listen to what I just said. Ghostbusters and the remake was called Ghostbusters. Yeah. Well, I think if you do the same sort of movie, you can probably do it. Okay. That sucks. If you're an, if you're another woman named Aaron Brockovich who comes along and has this crazy life and story, yeah. well, you can't call your movie or book that. Yeah. Ron Rich. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call myself. <laughs> Ron Rich. Yeah. I say, you know, I'm not. <clears throat> it's usually on me to turn this baby off. Yeah, you know, yeah if you want to keep rolling it. Rich, was Richie Rich Richie Rich's real name? Yep. He was so rich. <laughs> <laughs> I think what happened was the dad was like, well, I'm so fucking rich. I'm going to yeah. call myself Daryl Rich. Yeah. And then he's like, well, I'm going to have a kid. I'm going to name him Richie Rich. <laughs> you think if I didn't just call myself Rich, I'm naming this kid Richie. <laughs> Richie Rich, hey, what a Richie prick, rich. dude! If I ever get yeah. that rich, I'm na- I'm naming my kid Richie Rich. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. Richie Rich, Richie Rich, funny fun. Yeah, that's how funny it <laughs> is. Funny fun, that's what I do. Funny's my game. Yeah, fun is my name. Yeah, he can never get poor. Poor, you know? poor. Oh well, that would be kind of like ironic, you know, like yeah. a yeah. big guy named Tiny. Big guy named Tiny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Really waiting a long time on this one, huh? Remember the real fans, we're back. We're back for the real, real fans. The real, the the real fans. Guys, if you're a real fan, really come to our show. Yeah. Yeah. Please? Please? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we're putting a lot we into this. Do this for you guys, really? I'll do sex. We should get like a dunk tank. Yeah, I'll do sex. Yeah, stuff, like, yeah, yeah. What kind of what do you dunk? What? Who do you dunk? Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, we get a big hot vat of coffee and put a guy in a donut suit. And if you hit him, he just burns. Dies. He dies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> burns profusely. They don't do that enough where it's a dunk tank with real yeah. consequences. A, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a funny idea, too. A room at rats. The coffee, 
you can't really see in the murky brown water of the coffee. Yeah. So you just put somebody in there who's dressed the same as the guy that gets dunked, but who's horribly disfigured, like yeah. this mask so character. So comes out. So then he comes out, this terribly burned man. Yeah. So it's not actually burned. No. It's not hot. We're no. humanitarians. Yeah, it just, you give the appearance, you do a, right. what is that, a dry ice? <laughs> I do a Terminator thing. You drop him in hot lava, yeah. and all you see is that fist go up and the thumb come up Yeah, as yeah, the Terminator yeah. died. Yeah. It's hard to get. People don't do enough stuff with lava because it's hard to put it in anything. It burns through anything. Is that true? Because that seems pretty true. I mean, yeah. Where, where are you going to get? You need a, some sort of unmeltable container. So I thought hot lava is because it yeah. just cools too quick. Yeah, you can't. It turns hard. Well, you can put lava in a volcano. Right. So if you get a volcano, you're fine. It there, comes was from a, Earth. there was a guy in Alaska, I think in the 70s or 80s. He yeah. Got, he got in a lot of trouble with the Environmental Protection Agency, but uh-huh. it was worth it for Why? a bit. So he lived in like a little village, probably, you know, I just figured a couple it thousand out. people there, right? And it was near a volcano. Yeah. And he, uh, he, <laughs> he snuck a bunch of tires and a truck to the top of the volcano early one morning when it was dark and threw them in and lit them on fire. So that smoke started coming out of the <laughs> volcano, and everyone thought the <laughs> volcano was going to erupt. Oh wow! <laughs> but then, and it was a great bit. But then they were like, "Well, now we got a tire fire. You can't put out a tire fire." He got in a lot of trouble. You know, Wait, the other I thing was going to say that smells so bad. Yeah, yeah, it was horrible for God. the environment, but worth it. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Not just take all our trash instead of dumping it into the ocean. We just dump it into a volcano. Because I think it's hard to get your hands on a volcano that's like open and ready to go. Bubbling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really though, I kind of feel like I see pictures of that every now and again. Because when one happens, hel- they take a picture, man. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, probably right. We should wait on that with these big landfills and have helicopters at the ready. Yeah, or take these landfills and put them near the volcanoes. Well, we don't. I mean, I know they're saying we shouldn't send garbage into space, but come on. Why shouldn't we? Yeah, come on. I really. We have like all ideas. Space is so infinite. simple. These are all like solutions. These are all Trump ideas. The moon. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're what? just overly simplified, and then someone comes in and goes, here's a thousand reasons why this is a stupid idea. But yeah, I'd like yeah. to know those reasons. Why can't we just put all our garbage in the moon? There's clearly no life there yet that we know of, but I don't think there Maybe is. Maybe Urge knows. Does he know? He does. What oh, does he do? Like well, microscope stuff? I think right Taco now. Taco probably knows, and he listens. If you know, text at us why... You have to be a real fan because you got to the. I would part. guess right now the cost is what's prohibitive. You know, slingshot. How much does it cost to, to get, get a giant slingshot? To get anything into space costs so much money that if you're just doing it for garbage. <clears throat> but you know, we can get around that. Plus, it's a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah. What I would say is, you you do one thing right. Where you go to the moon with a giant rope. Clearly, you yeah. get the rope. You tie it to the moon. <laughs> clearly. And then you only got to pay it the one time. You know, because then you just throw the rope. You, you throw just, it. You throw the rope. You know, oh, you have the rope go. Yeah. You know, yeah. like a like a pulley system. Yeah, yeah. Right. How, so how far is it? A light year away? Not even that far. No. 50,000 feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Can we wrap this baby up? Yeah. Do I have any plugs?